cooperate with school programs. So I want to request your office that if you can talk to our officers, the car or the mayor and the rest, to allocate us a home, we will be grateful. So scouts, I want to wish you well and uh, I would request you allow me step out because I have another function. They are really waiting for me. So I'll do the two roles of launching the band, fundraising, and also commissioning the council of Mbale City. So in this honor, I want to take this opportunity in my own capacity, not in the capacity of the office, but in my own capacity, I'll contribute 200,000 towards the purchase of the brass band. That is coming from my pocket. But then, as an office, before end of day, we are going to make an official communication to see if we are lobbying equipments for you or we are contributing cash. So I want to commission uh, the fundraising of the brass band and uh, I want also to commission the new scarves because each district is supposed to have its own colors. So you find that the colors we are wearing, the red, yellow, and the black line, it's the national scarf. Then we have this scarf right here, the white with purple, the person who designed well thought about it because purple is our zono and world scout organization color then white is referred to as a peaceful color so the blend of white and purple makes this scarf beautiful and it has a meaning because it, it's carrying the world emblem for scouts and the white represents peace and the purple is the color for the world scout organization so i want also to commission the new scarf from Bali city association of scouts and uh, i also caution each and everyone that wherever we put on these scarves or the scouts uniform we have to behave in a very unique way we have to be people of integrity in everything we do we have to be people who are passionate about scouting and we have to be love peace making people so i commission this scarf that as we use it let's use it responsibly and also i want to request before I commission the officials, I want to request the teachers, the scout leaders who are here, thank you for the great work you're doing. And I request that as we're going to Kazi in August, I expect to see all the scouts in Kazi. Eight years ago, Mbale used to have the biggest representation at the national level. And through your officer, the sports officer, because scouting is under sports and Ministry of Education, where you are our boss in the city, we request that as you give priority to football, athletics, netball, and name it, this is also a sport which need to have a budget in your office. You support our leaders, you support the schools, especially the schools which are going to go through at the district level let them be supported to go and participate at the national level the way you support football the way you support athletics we request that you give priority to scouts they also go and showcase and you're very much aware that in Bale district for the previous three years consecutively we've been the best in the country and we've represented the country in different forums. We have a team which is supposed to go to Burundi 
And those who are going to qualify at the national level, where I believe Mbale City is going to be one of the qualifiers to go and represent us in Nairobi for the Jamboree, please, we need to support them. They have demonstrated that we have the best scouts in the region, so let us not disappoint them. Last year, I was a little disappointed with the Mbale district. Students organized. On the last minute as they were leaving, one of the officials from education office came stopping them that there is no money. I said, you know, they have to go. And that trip, I funded it almost 100% as an individual. Whereby, I feel sad that we give priority to football, to athletics, to netball, and name it, and forget that scouting is a sport. So this year, sir, I request that let's do what it takes to make sure that we support these young ones. I'm so happy that in Mbale district, in the country, it's the, I mean in Mbale city, in the country, it's the only scouting district which has paid its membership for two years. And through your office, I really appreciate that uh, you came up to make that payment. And uh, as head office, we are proud of Mbale City. We are going to support you. We will make sure that we stand with you where possible. And I hope and believe that the representation you are bringing at the national level is going to make it to the Jamboree of Eastern Zone to make us proud. And if we make it this time, win the Jamboree, trust me, with the new leadership, we will make sure that our scouts go for the international trips fully paid for by the zone. So the ball is on our hands. The training team, sorry, the calls are flooding because they are waiting for me somewhere. So I want to take this opportunity to ask the commissioning team of Mbale Scouts Council to stand up and then the ladies and gentlemen and dear scouts, I therefore take this opportunity to commission the Mbale Scouts Council as an office fully fledged working under the Uganda Scouts Association to operate with all the full authority and power and the tools of the Scouts Association to uphold the promise of the Uganda Scouts, the World Scouts Organization. And I will request all the Scouts to stand up. We Let's stand up. If you, we all make 90 degrees, 90 degrees with our right hand, the right hand, are we ready? Yes. Okay, one, two, three, we go. On my honor, I promise that I do my best to do my duties, to go out of my country, to make other people at all times, and to obey the scouts law. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you've made an oath that on your own, no one is going to do your best to do your duties, to go and your country, to help other people at all times, and to obey the Scouts' law. We know our Scouts' laws. We have to obey them. Now that we've taken an oath, you are in office, and we're going to support you to make sure that we move as an association. I want to thank you very much. May God bless you, Scouts. We wow. This council, and I'm stepping down from that office. Reason being, I was elevated, I'm at the national level. I have to give chance to someone to take the council as chair. And uh, I believe my vice is taking over office until maybe elections are done. Taking over office, I request uh, my brother Matthias to step forward. Yes. 
uh, thank you very much. I want to take this honor to hand over office to my brother, Matthias, who is becoming the chairperson of the Mbale City Scouts Council. And me, I'll take on the role as the deputy chief commissioner, Uganda Scouts Association, whereby I sit at the head office and I'm in charge of all the regions in Uganda and I also oversee the secretariat at the head office and with that office I believe Mbale City I'll support you wherever you need me I'm just a call away this is my home I'll always be here and my brother the office you're taking it's not hard and it's not easy so it depends on how you're coming in but with your expertise, I know you're going to make us proud. So I'm leaving him in office, and as I step out, he's going to take in from my shoe. He will sit in for me. Thank you so much. May God bless you.